So one of the most interesting things that I see is people that talk about productivity, they're often two things that they talk about in terms of productivity. One of them is organizing things, having your life organized, making sure that there's checklists and things like along those lines. And the other one is removing sleep from your life, finding different ways to get up early because, you know, that's when you're the most productive is you get up early and you get so much more done. And both of those, and at least for me, and I suspect for almost everybody, they're probably not feasible. Otherwise, everybody would be doing that. That's what I think about is, um, you know, once in a while I do get up early, for example, and go for a walk, get some exercise, and I look around and nobody's up early. Everybody is sleeping. And for good reason, sleep is a good thing for you. It's helpful. It allows you to not be a blubbery mess. It's, it's an important thing that allows you just to function every single day. I think getting enough sleep is key to feeling good about yourself and all sorts of things. It's key for living longer. I think for too long we've emphasized this, you don't need to sleep thing. And, and, and it's just not true. And then on the other side, the, you know, organizing or you know, making sure everything is all said and done, that requires increased cognitive bandwidth, that even when you are struggling with keeping yourself organized, that's increasingly difficult. That's adding more bandwidth on yourself to do tasks that are much more difficult. So, you know, what is my solution to this? I have a different perspective. I have a perspective that if you emphasize self-forgiveness, if you think about I'm good enough, if you think about all of the things and why you're feeling that you're behind or unproductive or why you are going to those feelings that you know, you're just, you're not good enough. Um, I think that often does a lot more. It solves a lot more of the issues, but what's going on? Ultimately, at least for me, if I can get back up and do it again, and it's, even if it's imperfect, it's not good. It's at 25% of what you see other people. That's still 25% better than what I could have done the day before. And I want you to sort of think about that. Is why is it that you're feeling the way that you're actually feeling in terms of productivity? Um, and, And I have to admit, I work at this. This is not something that easily comes to me. I do often, you know, feel bad and all of those kind of things. Um, So I work at this every day in terms of, you know, I'm not trying to be more productive. I'm trying to be more me. And if I'm more me and if I think about why is it that, that I feel all this pressure to perform and how do I remove that so I feel good about myself so then I will perform I think that is the more important thing. Um, And that's often the secret for me. It's often like soft things that nobody ever talks about, that it seems silly to talk about, that, you know, people are embarrassed by these soft things like, you know, love and compassion and all of those things that are foofy, foofy, foofy. 
that are actually more along the lines of why I feel the way that I do. And for me, I know I'm trying to fill a gap of loneliness from when I was younger, um, high school, and not so much, you know, elementary school and middle school. I think I had a, a group of, of people that I felt supported and in love, but high school was a tough time for me. Uh, and I'm trying to fill that gap always. And I always have to work at that. Um, where, why is it that I feel this way and go in that direction and sort of let out all that stuff so I can feel good and um, I can get back up and do the things that I need to do. And hopefully you'll do the same thing, that you'll get up and do the things that you need to do because, um, you know, you're not feeling, you're, you're doing okay with who you are. Um, I want you to sort of think about that is productivity is not going to fix anything. Um, you know, Putting that pressure on yourself is not going to fix anything. You have to fix the well, right? You have to fix what's going on in your head before you can get up and do anything. And I think fixing that, it's not something that you do once. It's an endless, endless cycle that you're in your head and you're working at it. You have to figure out how you can be better to yourself so that you will want to get up and do things. And I've seen this time and time again. That's almost always the solution. I used to wonder, like, why did people flick out? <laughs> like, why are they disappearing? They're not working hard enough. Yada, yada, yada. Almost always the solution is oh, they're not feeling good about themselves in some sort of way, right? That there's something going on there. You know, why aren't they putting in more effort? Oh, well, that's because they're trying to impress other people, right? They're, they're doing all these other things that are very human that have nothing to do with productivity and being more productive, but more about forgiveness of who you are and going to that softer stuff. So that's my solution. You don't need to have a more organized Tupperware container drawer. Um, you don't need to get up at 3 a.m. You just need to feel better about yourself. If you could do that, everything else feels a little better. <laughs>